We won with highly educated. On some voter scorecards, millionaire Donald Trump and millionaire Florida Governor Rick Scott are cut from the same tree. Like Trump, Scott spent most of his life in business, making hundreds of millions of dollars running the nation's biggest hospital chain and later a chain of health clinics. Then he decided to run for office and, like Trump, financed his own campaign, winning the governor's race in 2010. And he accepts no state salary. Trump has vowed to decline a presidential paycheck. Trump even said Wednesday that someone with political experience might be the best running mate. I asked the lieutenant governor if published reports about a Trump-Scott team are getting traction. Have you even discussed that with Rick Scott? No, we haven't. Not as far as this presidential cycle. That's pure speculation right now. There's no evidence to, to uh, be able to confirm that, that that's even part of the realistic discussion. Carlos Lopez Cantera, a donor to Marco Rubio's campaign, says the Florida senator has the experience necessary to be in the Oval Office. Is Trump, as a businessman turned politician, qualified to be president? I'll let others make that judgment. I believe Marco is the best choice for the Republican Party. If Scott opted to join a presidential ticket and resigned, Lopez Cantera would be governor. I'm going to do whatever's best for Florida. And if that's what's best for Florida, that's what I'll do. But right now he's focused on his bid to replace Rubio and is currently running fourth among Republicans in Senate fundraising. Greg Fox, West 2 News.